is Tiffany Javier, and I work with Exit Spivey Professional Realty in Ellicott City, Maryland. Um, my phone number is 301-395-8300. You can give me a call and I'll be more than happy to assist you with your home buying experience. My, my specialty is a selling uh, agent. I also uh, participate in buyers um, as well. Um, I also do commercial as well. Uh, get pre-qualified and know exactly what it is that you're looking for um, because things are on the market uh, for not a long time. So you want to definitely get pre-approved and know exactly what it is that you want so that we're not wasting a whole bunch of time and we can um, submit a contract and hopefully get it accepted. Cannot, in this type of market, you cannot be uh, on the fence. You got to know exactly what it is that you're looking for, uh, where you want to be, uh, what are your must-haves um, is, is, you know, is very key. Website. My website is Tiffany Serves You, and it will give you all information about listings that I have, also my uh, broker in the office, what we have listed at this time. Um, you'll get more information about buying and also about selling your property. Um, and then I also uh, give you a little bit more information about myself as well. I've been in the business for over four years now. Um, I love what I do uh, since I was 18 years old and I bought my first property. I've always loved real estate, uh, whether buying or, or selling or helping others um, as sure. well. Sure, I got two listings in DC. Uh, one listing is 1.25. Um, it is a four-unit uh, property. It also has a office space as well. Um, the other property is uh, two units. Um, it's a commercial property. Um, and then I also have one coming up uh, this week, next week, in Fort Washington. Uh, it's a single-family um, home, four bedrooms, 2.5 bath. Um, it's a lovely property. Uh, so if you take a look at my website, again, it's Tiffany Serves You you'll see those properties listed. I'm Cheryl, this is Chuck. Uh, and we've done, we're here at a picnic for Donnell Spivey. And uh, this is probably, how many times have we been coming, Chuck? Oh, quite some time. Uh, probably the last 15 to 20 years. Yeah. We've known Donnell for, we bought our house in 1988, so 33 years ago. Okay, and uh, Donnell is a great agent. Uh, I would highly recommend him. Um, what I liked a lot about Donnell, I would say that he was always responsive. Um, whatever he said he was going to do, he did. Um, he knew the area really well. He knew the properties well. He was very patient uh, because it takes a lot of that, I think, to buy a house. So, would highly recommend him. What would you say, Chuck? Anything else? Oh, I always say he's a great guy. We've been knowing him quite a few years. I used to work for him as an electrician, but for his different uh, uh, developments, you know. And uh, but he's a great guy, and I would recommend, just like my wife says, I would recommend him to anybody, or everybody, to an extent. Yeah. I say. Yeah, really. I would highly recommend him. Yeah. So, okay. My name is Latrice LeBlanc. This is my husband. I'm Gary LeBlanc. <laughs> and we live in Baltimore City, Pigstown, near the stadium. Yeah. We are here today to pretty much celebrate Donnell and uh, more specifically his accomplishments with uh, Exit Spivey. Ever since we've met him, he's been kind of like a part of the family. Yeah. Um, so this is one of the ways we can show our appreciation to him, even though this is a client appreciation yeah. event. Yeah. We, we do have, he has a special place in our heart. Yes, we first heard him on the radio. Yes, you know. from his radio yes. show. Yes, and uh, from there, you know, the radio show was so informative that we just had to, to give him a call, you know, because, you know, we were looking for a home for a while and, you know, when we finally decided to take action on it, you know, it really wasn't a hard choice to give him a call just just because of the knowledge that the radio showed the, the radio show showed that he had on the subject. So, yeah, he seemed like the 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 best choice to start yes. off our our journey. And yes. so far, he's been the best choice. <laughs> um, you want a realtor like Darnell to who goes above and beyond. You know, we would call him on the weekends, 
you know, on off hours. Not to say to go do, do that. that. <laughs> yes. But when we did. Yes. He bent over backwards to accommodate us in every way possible. You know, um, he found houses for us. And if we happened to be driving around an area and we saw a place, we'd give him a call and say, hey, you know, there's a, there's a place here we're, we want to take a look at. And he'd make it happen. He so, would. you know, all those extra details, it's, it's priceless. It is. He's, mm -hmm. if I could sum it up, I would say he's very reliable. Mm -hmm. He's accountable, mm -hmm. responsive, and he'll make you feel like you are his only client. And you know that you're not. But yes. just the, uh, the care and attentive, mm -hmm. attentiveness that he gives, yes. um, it just... Yeah. You know that you're in the right hands. Yes. Yes. Uh, we were <laughs> thinking of getting some um, um, homes to flip as well as some rental property. Yeah. And so we're in the process of just uh, taking a look at those uh, those possibilities, uh, those opportunities right now. His knowledge and then his, um, his network, his network, right? He's been in the game for a very long mm. time and it's evident mm. in his knowledge. And I'll give you a specific example. We were dealing with the finance company mm. and for some reason unknown to us mm. they were starting to back out but mm. he knew someone higher up in that organization mm. well above the loan officer that we were dealing mm. with and within a matter of days that situation turned around it was going down and yes. it looked like they weren't going to allow us to mm. um, work with them but within mm. a matter of days after he yeah. made that sent that email yeah. and made that correspondence in a matter of days they were sending us paperwork back yes. for us to sign out to go to closing the following week mm. uh, the home buyer process <laughs> once you have uh, the right agent goes really smoothly it's a lot of paperwork to sign yes it is <laughs> and you feel like you're signing your life away but at the end of it it's well worth it I would know? say to yeah. what helped us along the way because yeah. when you're first buying a home you have all these thoughts of what you want mm -hmm. um, Donnell made us <laughs> made us <laughs> <laughs> sit down write those things out but then put them in order of priority what mm -hmm. are your must-haves mm -hmm. and then what are your like-to-haves mm -hmm. and because you're not going to always get everything, everything. Mm -hmm. um, but as long as you are checking the box for the things that you have to have mm -hmm. he is going to make sure that you have those yes. things and yes. I would say also trust his wisdom. There were a couple of properties we wanted to go see yeah. and he looked at them and he said, but, you don't want to stay there. <laughs> yes, yes. And yes. he was right. Because he knows the area. You know, he knows uh, the, the different locations. Uh, he knows uh, the neighborhoods. He's very no knowledgeable in this market. Yes. So trust the process. Yes. My name is Latrice LeBlanc. And I am Gary LeBlanc. And definitely reach out to Dino with Exit Spivey for your real estate and market needs. All right, how you doing? My name is Howard Jennifer. We're here at uh, Patapsco State Park. Uh, I'm here uh, for celebrating Mr. Spivey's success. Um, he has helped me out a lot. Uh, I think we've done about four to five deals together. I just sent him two more deals today. Uh, hopefully we can get those done as well. Um, one thing I will say about Mr. Spivey is that he's a man of his word. And uh, everything that he's told me so far, he's been dead on. Uh, he gave me a price of how much we can get for each property. And actually, uh, the last property that we sold, I think we sold that one on uh, April 18th. And we were uh, 26 grand over asking price, which is, which is great for everybody. So. Um, we're looking to uh, close on another property uh, close to Morgan State uh, probably in the next 30 to 45 days. Yeah, he sold my grandmother's house on uh, 817 Kevin Road. And I just, my mom and my dad and my uncle talked about how much he got for that property. So once, he, once I found out how much he got, I was like, okay, well, you know, when I jump in, I'm going to give him a call. So I gave him a call. And he jumped right on it, and we just hit it off. Like now, he's more of a family member than just a real estate agent at this point. Because sometimes we we talk, we have nothing conversations, which I think is good. Just wake up and do it. <laughs> once you once you put yourself on the line, you you're gonna come through. So that's that's with the first property that I did. I've been studying real estate and watching HGTV, watching Christina and Tag, and it's nothing like just doing it yourself. Like all the stuff you see on TV. 
it's nice to watch, but when you're doing it yourself, it's a, it's a whole different animal. So I woke up one day and just went and did it. And it was days that I walked in the house like, uh, you didn't messed up this time. Like, you know, like what, what did you get yourself into? But as long as you keep showing up every day, you know, you get it done. And that's what happened. I got that one done. I got one on Howard Park done. I got another one that I got that I'm doing now. And it's almost complete. And I'm looking to do probably two more before the before the years end. I buy buy and flip. I buy and flip them. But you, you know, you got to study the numbers because you make your money on the purchase, not on the sale. So as long as you know your numbers before you buy it, that's what's going to do it. Now, if the things things are going to change once you crack the walls open, you're going to be in for some surprises. But you know that comes into the that comes to the ball game. So well, when COVID first hit, it was extremely difficult because everybody was like. I, I remember I, I went, I gave an offer like 75000 over asking price and somebody outbid me. I was, I was, I was, I was yeah, I was shocked. I was like, oh, oh, this is different. But, you know, things slowed down a little bit. I found one where a lot of people wasn't, didn't believe in the property. And I got lucky with that one. That's the one I told you that we got twenty six grand over asking price. So, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a competitive market, but, you know. You got You live to compete. That's what I do. I, I, everything I do is about competing. Nah, I mean he's he's just a great guy. Just just a straightforward guy. Gonna give you good information. He's always a phone call away. He always answers any question that I have. Or, and and he, also what he does is what I really respect. He's gonna give you his honest opinion. Like when we, after we done the house, he'll say, Look, you might you you could have done this or you could have done that, and give me some better ideas. And we bounce back ideas and. And, hope, and so far, we've been fairly successful. I've been batting a 1,000, so, so yeah, things are going very well. Yeah. I'm H. Bernie Jackson, and I'm here as a representative of a friend, Donnell Spivey. I've known Donnell for um, many, many years. I'll just to give you a little introduction to who I am, I'm the 20th president of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. That's the largest minority trade association in America. We were founded in 1947 out of necessity. We were not able to join that other organization, which is the Realtors. So since 1947 until today, we have been active in the community and across the nation. We have 110 boys from California to New York, from Michigan to Florida. In 1997, I became the 20th president of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. I'm very proud of that. And just to let you know, a few years after that, maybe about 15 years, we had another young man who wanted to get on that ladder to become a national president. And with some assistance of mine and his necessity to, to really go out there and stick to it, he became the 29th president of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. And just to say that of his leadership, uh, today I think marks maybe the 35th consecutive anniversary of what he's given back to his clients and the community. We're having a picnic on this Memorial Day weekend. And again, we have uh, just a packed crowd. And, and his, his willingness to do that and his willingness to look forward in the future to make sure that the real estate brokers of Baltimore and his participation will always be there. So I really thank him for just being a person that's there, always appreciate his, his willingness to help the community and his clients. And today is just another combination of all of those things together. And again, I salute Donnell Spivey for his leadership and for his future leadership in the real estate industry. And I thank him from the bottom of my heart. I'm Pat Davis, and I'm a realtor and a realtist, meaning that I'm a member of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. It was my pleasure in 1985, when I was affiliated with a minority broker in Baltimore, Otis Warren and Company, that I had the pleasure of meeting Donnell Spivey, who at that time was a dual career agent. And while he was working on the train, he would look at some of the full-time agents and determine whether or not it was a move that he needed to make. And through encouragement of others and myself, 
he felt comfortable enough in leaving his position with the train and to come and form his own train. And as a result, he has grown. He worked with me at a Remax franchise for many years. And at that time, he was able to hone on on his leadership and management skills. And because of the way Remax is formed, most of us are independent contractors. And under the leadership of a manager, we are able to do our own marketing and advertisement and grow. And as a result, Donnell now, of course, is a very prominent member of our community. He is the past president of the National Association of Realtors, Realtist, and he was a local board president as well as a board of directors for our local board. And he's on a radio show, and he has truly enhanced the position of minority professionals in our community not only in Baltimore City, but most recently he was elected to the board of Realtors, which is the other group, the majority group. That majority group, of course, was formed years before they would allow the minorities to join. And when the Realtists were formed in 1947, we were able then to call ourselves Realtists. And Donnell was a leader of that and still is of the National Association of Real Estate Boards. So it's my pleasure to be his friend, to have been a mentor, and to have had some stake in being able to each one bring one. And I really appreciate the opportunity for after 36 years of him thanking his past customers and close associates and letting them know how much he appreciates them. And again, Thank you, Donnell, for allowing me to speak and tell how much I love you. And even though I used to call you up in the middle of the night when we had to work out situations and your wife would have some issues, but then realize that it was all for the good, we were friends. You were almost my son. Sometimes you're my best friend. You're my real estate partner. And in any event, you will always hold dear to my heart. Love you. My name is Kimberly Tapscott. Um, Donnell Spivey is my uncle. Um, and we're here at his annual celebration of his clients. Um, to give back to his clients who have supported him throughout the last 35 years. And so we're here, you know, at a great picnic, a great venue, um, with good food, music, and conversation. Um, I live in Connecticut. And so um, I remember growing up and coming to these picnics as a child and always wondered who are all these people who are just, you know, hugging on my uncle, um, making even high fives, things of that nature. And then I grew up to realize these are his clients. And these are people that he's helped along the years. Um, I think this is like the 35th anniversary of this picnic. He's helped them along the years to help buy their home, first home, second home, investment properties. He's wonderful at that, advising them. And um, every year he just gives back and has, we call it a family picnic. Because we have family here, but his family becomes clients because they love him. Just Well, my name is Lisa Bankins, first of all, and we are at Patapsco, Patapsco Park, State Park, and I'm here because I want to support Donnell. Donnell, a couple of months ago, I closed on the house, and I'm very pleased with the house, and in this competitive market, it's just very, very difficult, very difficult to get a house. And even though I've been to, I think I toured like three or four houses, Darnell and I, um, we found a house, which was great. He assisted me through the process. And um, even though it was my fourth house, I just really appreciate his assistance. Yes. The best piece of advice, because what happened in my case is that the seller went with another buyer initially, but that buyer's finances fell through and that so I was able to get that house get your credit together that's my number one advice get your anything that you're thinking of if you're trying to buy a house 
please get your business in order, get your house in order, literally get your credit in order because someone else could beat you out of the house, your dream house. So that's first and foremost. Back in 1996, when I bought my first house, I would see advertisements with Donnell Spivey's name on it. Now, my sister is the one who actually met Donnell. She's known him for years. And he actually sold Angie Bankins her house. So then I got on the train. <laughs> I said, well, he must be very good. So, and so he sold me my house. Real estate agents have a really bad reputation, except for Donnell. Donnell, he really cares. And that is what was really, that's really stood out for me, was the fact that it wasn't just another sale for him. It wasn't just another commission. He really cares about his clients. So he's, he's number one in my book. Hi, my name is Cheryl Siegel, and I work as Donnell Spivey's office assistant. Well, today we're celebrating Donnell's 35th, I believe, anniversary uh, of being a real estate agent and he has this function every year to thank those who have purchased homes from him, those who he's sold homes for, and for his family and friends to, as a way to tell them that he appreciates them. Well, everybody just is just so excited to see people that they've not seen since the last function. And there are some people here who are family and even friends and neighbors who know each other. I would tell them to go to the website and look for Donnell Spivey. Uh, on YouTube, or they can check the uh, World Wide Web for Exit Spivey Professional Realty and call the numbers provided there. I want you to know that Donnell is an, uh, a broker who genuinely cares about his customers. I've seen him bend over backwards to help people get a home or to sell their home, to get it prepared to sell, and he's very patient, very kind, and very giving. My name is Willie James Copeland. I'm here, I'm here because me and, me and Donnell sent he wanted me to speak on his behalf today. Donnell Spivey. He bought his first property from me. I sold it to him in finances. And I, me and him been knowing each other ever since. We've been doing business together. And, and, uh, and we've, we've helped each other in any way we could. And he, and he bought property after property after that one. Oh, yeah? I, I sold him that one. And I sold him 40 or 50 houses ever since then. He's a good man. Only God should. Hi, I'm Jessica Coates, the Chief Executive Officer for the Howard County Association of Realtors. Just want to bring greetings and my gratitude for being a part of this annual Exit Realty event. Um, I have the pleasure, <laughs> I have the pleasure of serving with Donnell Spivey um, on the Board of Directors and he's such an amazing asset to the industry and to this community here in the Howard County and Baltimore County region. Um, just excited to be here. I, I hope that we can do this every single year and it's always a delight to support realtors um, in the community. I've known Donnell now uh, almost four years. I moved here from Birmingham, Alabama when I took the Chief Executive Officer position. Um, so he's been a amazing in my career and in my personal life. Um, him and his wife took me in, me and my husband, and showed us around, and uh, we're just so grateful for the friendship. Oh, very different, so we're in different times. I moved in 2018, it was a very different market, um, and I served in the Birmingham market um, for the last six years prior to taking the job, but I was their lobbyist, the chief executive lobbyist for the Birmingham Association. So I served in an advocacy uh, arm versus the chief of staff arm here. Um, but I know one thing, it's a price point difference <laughs> in the average homes, in the medium home sales here, um, and very diverse 
diverse in backgrounds and diverse just in square footage of different types of properties. Um, so it's a different market and I would say it's taken me a few years to get to know my barons and what to expect, but this is definitely one of the most unique markets I think across the country. Um, it's just very odd, different, but I'm super happy that our realtors are busy and um, booming right now. You know, Darnell was the past national president for the Realtors, the NARAB. Um, we just didn't have that representation and that wealth of knowledge um, on the board I served in Birmingham. So I think it's an advantage and I'm just privileged to have these relationships and the network and the wealth of knowledge um, and just the history and the rich, his the rich culture um, surrounding Maryland and the DMV area and black and brown success stories everywhere um, and people really taking this industry by the horns and, and capitalizing on the opportunities that are here in the DMV area. So, And I wanted to just thank Donnell for having this event and um, thank him for his um, support for the Howard County Association of Realtors and all that he does for the industry.